So welcome back to Nova Splover. Things are going pretty well down here in the communist north. Up here in the... Well, when is down up and when is up down? I don't think north is up and south definitely isn't down. But we're up in the Siberian wastes with Nova Splover. Now, I made a few changes in between episodes. I added a few buildings down here, expanded the residential zone a little bit. So we've got a little bit more um, high density residential. As you can see in the form of these massive towers. Now, some of them have a glorious Soviet symbol on the side and that star. It does look pretty amazing. Right, so we've renamed this district The Sickle. Looks good. And we've encouraged recycling here. We've also encouraged recycling in the Hammer, Lenin Industrial, Putin Plaza, Stalin Depths, and even, no, not quite in Gaz Promenade. But that's because we had a bit of a trash problem. Since then, I've gotten rid of one of the landfill sites and it's doing as, it's doing okay still. One of these is 70% full, the other one is 9% full because we've got enough of these incinerators now to keep the trash being delivered there. And uh, I think our output is like, yeah. So we're actually uh, able to incinerate all the trash as it comes out, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good place to be. It means we don't have to rely on landfill uh, and it means we can slowly start repurposing these landfills. I think I want to keep one just in case something terrible happens uh, and there's an overflow. But yeah, the next stage, uh, I think, to keeping a sustainable city is going to be doing something about the poo. Because, as you can see, oh no. As you can see here, the poo is kind of slowly wrapping around the coast, getting dangerously close to our inlet pipe. And if the people eat the poo, that's, that's a big no. That's a big no-no. So what we need to do is work towards the next milestone, which is 1,200. Now, the extra residential I added has actually got us dangerously close to 1,200. And that's when we get water treatment plants, amongst other things. So we're getting there really soon. We just need to make sure we get there first before the poo gets to our inlet pipe. And that shouldn't be too hard. Now, another thing we learned is that islands that rely solely on a form of public transport don't really do well. Uh, there's a lot of problems over here with the old university. I had to add a dirt road over here and a landfill site because there were no trash trucks coming around here. Also, we had to add a police station because apparently there was a lot of crime. People were breaking into lockers, stealing people's rucksacks, which isn't, isn't a nice place to be, uh, I guess. Sounds just like my high school, though. Uh, but yeah, no, not so. So next door to the uni is a cop shop, which kind of makes sense because I think like a lot of universities these days have like their own police stations nearby, just in case. Because, I don't know, going to school these days is a bit, a bit of a dangerous affair. Well, at least in America. And uh, and even more so in the Soviet Union, which is where we are. We're not in Russia. We're in the Soviet Union, which doesn't exist in the real world, but it's very much alive here in Novo Splovo and City Skylines. So I added in between these uh, this recording as well. I'm sorry I unpaused. I just don't want to... Well, I'll unpause, actually, because the population is slowly going up. And if... Oh, no. It's gone down now. But if we do get to 1200, that's going to, oh yeah, here we go. It's going to take over any second. And as soon as we get there, we're going to get the sweet, sweet water treatment. Now I've added a whole bunch of new assets. We can take a look at those actually, uh, as population ticks up. Yeah, let's take a look at, ooh, at some of these new things we got. Now, some of these have been unlocked through milestones, which is pretty good. As you progress through the game, you get access to more and more things, like football stadiums and whatever. But no, we don't play football here in Novo Splovo. We wrestle bears and have man fights. That's, what the hell is that? Okay, so this is a, what is this? Oh, it looks like it's supposed to be something, but I haven't got the props for it. All oh, right, so I've added a whole bunch of new, uh, new buildings, but unfortunately, some of the buildings that I've added, I haven't got the attached props, so you won't see the full finished deal. But yeah, what else have we got here? We got $18,000, levels three plus one, type 62, Rico house, okay. This looks like a full building though, and that is, why is this over here and not in uh, Popable Rico? I don't know, it's a bit of a worry. We've also got Soviet McDonald's called McRonald's. It's like, it's like McDonald's, but to avoid copyright issues, they called it McRonald's. That's fine by me. We've also got me, what the hell is me? I don't know, but it looks pretty badass. Uh, and a whole bunch of stuff, Circus Kishinev, Loads of stuff that seems kind of Russian. Just a tank, a T-32 tank. Just plonk this in the middle of like a, a residential zone just so people know that if they do mess up, I'm going to send the tanks in and that's when they are going to rip in peace. In fact, let's put a tank over here in the hammer just to make sure they know what's what. 
Oh yeah, here's a perfect spot. No wait, I don't, I, this has got like a good catchment area. So I want to put it in a space uh, that's going to appease residents. So what's the happiness like around town? It's okay. Oh, I'll tell you what though, it's not so good down here at the bottom of the sickle. And that is where I'm going to put my T32. Oh yeah. Actually, no, there's not really enough space around here. If, if I do put this down, I'm going to crush somebody's hopes and dreams, i.e. their house. Uh, which I'm not sure I want to do, although that, that looks kind of ugly. So let's plop on there. Bam. Now they know what's up. And they're really happy as well. They're really happy to have a tank inside the tower blocks. Just in case, I guess, because then if, if terrorists happen, then bam. Climb in the tank. Give them hell. We've also got Mall of Moderation. I think I had that before. We've got a smaller version of our statue. You remember the massive one? This is the massive one. Oh, no, wait, wait, no. Oh, wait, this is the bigger one. What? There's a bigger one? Oh, my God. We need to put this sucker down somewhere. Oh, this is a badass. And look at the catchment area on this. This keeps everybody happy. It does cost $400 a week. But as far as parks go, oh my god, this is a figure piece. If we build a new residential area over here, we're going to put this sucker right the center. Also got some of these Russian-style towers and castles. They look pretty cool. Here's a nice one. We could actually do something to make uh, the oil zone a bit happier. Because at the moment, it looks pretty sad. In fact, let's put something down here to replace the landfill site that we just wrecked. So what's got a big, nice catchment area over here? Let's keep going through these. We've got, of course, two warplanes, which is apparently like a famous Russian thing. I've never heard of it, but sure. Cossack's Army Monument. Unique building. Wow, that's tiny. But it's got a huge happiness area. Let's put one over here. Bam. Wow, that's really not affected anybody's happiness, has it? Um, what else we got? Ikea, of course, that famous Russian furniture retailer. We've already put down a city hall. But why can't we have... Oh, right, it was 500 grand. Luckily, we're raking it in at seven grand, almost eight a week, which is pretty good. Oh, and we're about to tick over. Almost at 12,000 pop. But let's keep looking through these, uh, these new props. So what else we got here? Oh, right, so we've got some Polish-style uh, buildings because Poland's kind of close enough to still have that kind of semblance of being a uh, Soviet Union. And when you go to Poland, it does still feel like kind of a bit Soviet. Institute of Cybernetics. Based on the... There's a, there's a Russian Institute of Cybernetics? What the hell? What does it do? Costs a week. Requires electricity. Visitor capacity. So it's a tourist thing, right? Okay. We could put one wherever we want, really. And then tier six. These are the real massive mother truckers. Oh, that looks amazing, actually. Imagine a whole bunch of these, like, along... Oh, this is from Prague? I guess, again, Prague's, like, close enough to be Soviet, really, isn't it? Oh, and of course, the massive St. Basil's Cathedral. What's this? Complete with new red lighting. Oh, there we go. We've done it. Big city. Sweet. So now we want to ASAP get down a water treatment plant. So forget upgrading. No, actually, we are going to upgrade uh, gas promenade first because this needs a bit of love. It needs a bit of love and TLC. Do we have any new parks? I don't think so. What's this? Zolotoy Bridge. Oh, my God. Do I really want to put this somewhere? It looks like half of it's missing, so that's a bad idea. Oh, here we go. Lots and lots of uh, new stuff down here. Orthodox Church as a park. So we could put down a church so that these guys that are working the, uh, the oil zone still know that Jesus was, is with them. There's a pretty sweet park here, the Soviet promenade, but again, I think most of it's missing. Damn it. So you've got to be careful when you download things off the workshop. You've got to make sure that you include all of the assets bundled in with it, because otherwise you're left with so many things that you just can't use until you go back around and fix your problem. We could put down uh, a static harvester. Look at that. Why not? Let's just put one in the hills. How much does it cost? $10? No upkeep? Sure, why not? Bam. <sighs> What's this? Stella. Oh, wait, whoa, this looks amazing. I don't know what this is. And I apparently do have the assets for it. So, what does that look like? Oh. No, oh, wait, it's facing the wrong way. 
Sure. Well, that's fine. We can we can still work with that. Oh, now I, I think I realize why this looks so blank. It's because this whole area is coated in snow. So all of the detail is hidden behind those uh, pillowy clouds. Well, anyway, that should have helped the area come up a bit. If we go to parks. Yeah, people are a bit more happy at Gaz Promenade. Whoa, some people are very happy. What the hell is this thing? $40 a week, and it's keeping people super happy. Oh, let's take advantage of this and put one over here as well. Bam. Now, that has trashed the uh, telegraph pole a bit, but that's fine, because I think it still does carry power over. And what has that done for happiness? Oh, yeah, everyone's super happy now. So do we put another one down here just to make maximum use of it? Yeah, why not? Looking good. And of course, let's put one down here with the tank to keep the people of the sickle nice and nice and bright and sprightly too. Unfortunately, though, some people on the edge are a bit out of range of that, so they're not going to see the full benefit. But uh, never mind. You can't please them all. Oh, I feel like I do really want to improve this area, though, because that's going to increase the level of these buildings, make them much better. What we can do is we'll bring a road out just up here. Bring it along to the coast. We'll put some nice, pretty houses along the coast. And uh, come off here a little bit. And put another park right here on the cusp. Perfect. And then behind that, add some new residential zones. Just like that. Now this might make traffic a bit of a nightmare over here. So we'll have to keep our eyes on that. How's it for water? Yeah, it's just about okay. You can bring off like a little pipe there. Power. It should get power as people move in. All right, right. So we've got lots of things to do, lots of chores to take care of. Namely, number one is the water treatment plants. Let's go over here to where our sewage zone is. Oh, bad news bears down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the sewage treatment plant. Now, how expensive is it? Bam. 640 a week. And only costs 1500 Don't want to pump sewage into water. Treatment plant reduces the environmental impact of the city. Purifies 85% of the pollution in sewage. So do we have to put this on... Let's put it down here. Does this have to be connected to the water, the water supply? Let's take a look. Aha, uh -huh. yes it does. So, bam. And this should help reduce the amount of poo that's coming out. It won't cure it completely. But it does just help reduce. Drain capacity is 18.5. Wait, whoa, 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 what? What's going on? It's, it's flooding the place. No. Okay, right. No, yes, yes, please get rid of it. Oh my God, what the hell happened? Why is it not stopping? Okay, it is. It's dissipating slowly. So what the hell is this thing? Don't want to pump raw sewage. So I think it replaces the... Ah, uh, here we go. So you have to build it on the side of something like this. So if we put it on, like, the edge of the mountain over here, and then we'll put one over here as well. That looks pretty cool, actually. Hook the pipes up to it. Oh, wait, this thing has no power over here, which is why we kind of move things away. We'll put down another... No, we're going to use a uh, good old-fashioned cable to power up this beast. There we go. And I think that means we can also... What's this? What's the problem with this thing? Oh, right, it's flooded. It means we can trash these two things, the two sewage outlets. And then connect the water up to that. Trash the other pipes. I like how the uh, the bulldozer becomes like a digger when you're digging up pipes. Because they dig underneath ground. That's a cool touch. And uh, yeah, looking good, I think. Oh, we need to make sure that this electrical cable is going all the way to the wind power. 
And if we resume the game, let's watch this sucker in motion. Now again, it is also covered in snow and all that fog. But we should start to see poo pouring out of these pipes. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Now 85% of our wastewater is going to be purified. Meaning it'll only pollute about 15% of the speed that it was before. So it's still going to do some damage, but this area should slowly clean up. All right, well, what else have we got at this new latest milestone? Big city. So, oh, a crematorium, which means our dead bodies don't have to start stacking up again. This controversial building stores the clinic deceased until the technology becomes available to revive them. Oh, no way. It's like a cryo lab where we can freeze. Oh, man, so we can put one of these down and we can freeze like Wesley Snipes and uh, Judge Dredd until the year 2022 when Simon says they're going to come back to life and, uh, and demolish everything. That sounds pretty cool. Let's put down a crematorium. Now, is this going to keep people happy or is, are they going to be upset to have one of these in their backyard? No noise pollution. So I don't think people are going to be upset by this. So I'll just park this somewhere out of the way where no one's really going to go. Like over here. Sure, there we go. Oh, no, this has actually kept people pretty happy. So they do like seeing this in their backyard. So I'll put one over, over here as well. Oh, yeah, lots of happy campers now. Sweet, well, the taxes are rolling in, and let's kick up the speed to see if any problems occur. But I do think power is going to be something we have to watch out for. Yeah, look at that. Dangerously low. But check this out. We do have access to an oil power plant. It can do 120 megawatts compared to coal's 40. But it does cost four times as much. So in theory, it's more expensive. But we do save on space, which is, I guess, a thing. And we can put it down at Gas Promenade because this place just produces loads and loads of oil. There we go. This should fix things. All right, how's that for a place to put down oil? Yeah, perfect. Fits just like a glove. Awesome. Oh, and what a beast. This looks more Soviet than anything we've put down for a while. So out go the oil tankers. Oil stored for six weeks. I imagine they have to collect oil from these nodding donkeys, but that's okay because we've got infinite oil basically out here. And uh, that has really boosted our power reserves. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's pretty sweet. It's also taken a dent into our cash. But that's okay. We're sitting only at 300,000 now. So we've got to be careful, especially if we're going to run a big infrastructure project. So remember last time we tried to fix some of our traffic problems. Let's take a look at the traffic map because we haven't really done that. There's just more red than there was before, to be honest. So how many people are using public transport? So 884 per week are using the, uh, the subways, okay, and 525 people per week are using the buses. If you look at the bus routes that we have, all the bus routes go to these subway stations. So we have like the zone here has three or four bus routes that deliver to the subway, and every zone, like Lennon Industrial has a bus route that delivers to the subway, every zone has a bus route that gets all of the dudes in the area over to the subway. And let's take a look at the subway, see how many people are actually using it. Because people are zipping in there, like left, right, and center. Yeah, this is definitely getting a lot of use. So I don't care what that statistic says, the subway is busy as balls. But we do have this whole, oh right, of course, we've got two big problems that we need to address. Number one is we have to make use of this metro station. We need to get some bus routes out here, but it's too far away for it to be worthwhile to do it with anything we've already got. So, since the RICO demands a large commercial investment, we're going to build a large commercial zone over here. And then its sister is going to be over here, which is going to be a large residential zone. We're going to use Plopable RICO in the residential zone because it looks really cool. And we're going to relocate the university from over here on Blimp Island, which kind of sucks, I will be honest. We're going to remove it from Blimp Island and, uh, and take it over and put it in the residential zone. But we have to make sure that traffic isn't too crazy at the residential zone. Oh man, I mean, look at this. It looks like the highway is the busiest place on the planet right now. Lenin Square has served us superbly. 
rather Novo Splovo Square. But um, yeah, it still has its traffic issues. Although people are still flowing through here fairly quickly. There's not too much of a backlog. People aren't using this back door, Thornton Street, which kind of sucks. Um, but there's not much we can really do about that. Whoa, hang on a sec, what? Oh my god. So we just unlocked Grand City out of nowhere. I don't even know how that happened. Oh, I know exactly how it happened, actually. We improved enough of these houses for them to upgrade to fit more dudes in, and bam. What's this? Not enough educated workers. Oh, right. Oh, we also must have improved this residential, this industrial area by building a park, but the problem that produces is the area comes up too quickly and all the businesses turn to high tech, which needs lots of education. Man, so we need to relocate this university because right now it is not catering to enough students. It's only got 1,000 students there. But what's the potential? Let's check the school report. So university. 54% of, the citizen, of, of our citizens have graduated. Really? Oh, wow, that's actually really, really good. So when they say not enough educated workers, I think that's an isolated incident. So what's this not enough buyers for products? What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, of course. Right. So that is comes again to our problem with the Rico, which is not enough commercial. Oh, damn it. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a framework for a really cool residential zone. Now, in the assets that I downloaded, I think we've also got a few new intersections. Oh, man. And by a few, I mean like about a thousand million. What the hell? Now, most of these are actually underground. That's crazy. But also really cool. Underground roads are great because they let you hide a lot of stuff. But the problem is you can't see the traffic underneath there. So you can't get a good feel for what's going on if you've got any problems. What else have we got here? Oh my god, look at that. That thing's a beast. And we can plop it down almost anywhere because it's underground. So where are we going to build this residential zone? Well, I want to build it around a big-ass monument. And why not that beautiful, beautiful, even bigger giant lady with a sword. So who doesn't love giant ladies with swords? Maybe King Arthur. They've got some hang-ups from that uh, Motherland course. This is the budget version, the mini one. This is the... Wait, where's the big one? These are both small. Didn't I have a big one? This one's much smaller. Fair enough. Well, a bit smaller. So where's the big lady? Here she is. No? Wait, what? I could have sworn. It was a bigger lady. Where's the big lady? Aha, here she is. Lady in red herself. So we're going to map out an area for this. And that does mean it's new intersection time. So we're going to have to design something pretty cool. What are we looking at? What is this thing? Timbo's Y stack. It does look amazing. How does it work? Sometimes it's just really difficult trying to wrap your head around how an intersection works. Well, forget that. We're just going to use big roads for the time being. And I really like how Novo Splovo Square has worked. So we're going to, again, design a square. But we're going to design it around the lady this time. So we're going to come up here. Now, where's going to be commercial and where's going to be residential? We want to do commercial first. So we're going to put it... We want this as close to industry as possible because there's going to be lots of industry that's going to want to leave the city and go to the commercial zone. So we're going to have probably a cheeky side road here that comes underground and appears up here. Uh, we're going to bring the road across here. So the square is going to be right about here. And we're going to turn on some snapping. Blam. And now what we'll do is we'll put down the actual decoration that we want here, the giant lady. And then we can build the road around her so we get a much more flush finish. Oh yeah, you beauty. This lady's huge. There we go, flawless, sweet. Now let's trim up the edges. 
Bam! Counterclockwise, the only way we do things in Novo Splovo. Okay, well, join me next episode when we turn this into a massive commercial powerhouse. But until next time, guys, take care. 